my, the moment I entered NDI was with a working group who was, uh, who was developing it. Um, we had a really good time. As I remember, NDI started in my living room in Zagreb. No joke. Not, not that, not the idea, but the first meeting was, I invited people to come and meet, and I don't want to make mistakes now. We were a couple of us brainstorming on this brilliant idea and thinking further what would we need as a group that was hosting a big educational program and that didn't feel like doing service for other people anymore, that felt hunger for uh, knowledge themselves. So we started to think of a way how we could, as a group, propose something in the direction of NDI. Further on, we had another working session in uh, Skopje. And as you see, this is the only places where I do truly remember Nomad Dance Institute. When we came to Ljubljana in 2011, 13. Mm -hmm. 11, 12, 13, 13. Mm -hmm. 13, two years ago, that was my last encounter with the NDI, except for the blog that you guys are doing. Um, I wasn't fast enough to enter the application system or the way we developed this idea and the way it was proposed in uh, Ljubljana. And there, my uh, touch, for me, NDI as a thing goes on from then on, but myself, I'm not included in any project that got funding, so for me, the, the, the emotional I'm doing is because as a group that has thought of this idea and which was very much based on the principles of Nomad that people would work on something, but then it would come back to a larger Nomad society, or I don't know how to say that, I'm feeling it as an isolated working place and I feel it almost like a residency for the people who are busy with their own projects that are of true importance to themselves, but that were also fast enough to enter the application system and the way we decided as a group to proceed with the institute. So there I'm quite critical, because as a nomad, the whole spirit of nomad and serving and doing for other people was never a problem for myself, and I thought we were touching a larger group of people, some people that we didn't know, and I have a feeling that here now, that maybe just because I'm not involved in the projects, we have closed off. And it became much more this laboratory part of the dreaming. When we dreamt of an uh, institute, there was the laboratory and there was the incubator of the ideas. All that, I have a feeling, it is there. How much outreach and how much is this present in other scenes or in which way it's coming back to us as a group, I'm not so sure. And maybe for that I'm just waiting for the next big meeting of NOMAD. But that's also criticism for me for this institute that I would then, I don't know if there is a working group who is thinking of, uh, of the overall of the institute, but I thought they would also host a larger meeting where people could exchange, not over internet, but in lifetime, real space, have another big meeting like we had. That was the agreement. It was a a plan on two years so that people could really work and so on, but there had to be something coming back to a larger group in one year and second year, as I understood and the way we thought of it was that the projects get kind of a close up and we launch another invitation for <coughs> a new round of upcoming projects. So for myself, I'm not involved. I hear more through gossip than some official exchange, which is also nice, that I do, I don't mind. Through, a, through your witty blog, I'm looking into it and I'm curious, I would love to know what's going on. Then I hear through Nerina that archive group is active, that co-teaching is happening somewhere, but myself, I'm not really involved at all. Maybe it's up to me to run after it, but uh, I haven't been invited in these groups. We had to initiate something with Martin that was not uh, developed enough at the stage we had to apply for money. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we just, I think, gave up, put our focus somewhere else. And then I uh, discovered, as I love moment, as an idea, that for me, somehow, the secret NDI project is the Nomad Dance Academy in Croatia, because we really 
truly still work on the principles on NOMAD and try to discover what's missing in the region there. And that's my NDI activism without being funded or giving back reports on it. I thought Institute would be about taking time for stuff. And I thought that this first meeting in Ljubljana would have been the first occasion to do that. Not to speed, not to exchange ideas superficially, not to make uh, PowerPoint presentations for each other and if we were not ready enough. I got a chance to share because I applied for it to share a physical work, but 15 minutes very um, superficially, I thought. And there was a nice walks happening in the city and so on, working groups, new ideas showing up, which I think was nice. There were new collectives being opened, I thought, like the um, Belgrade people who came. But, but for me, it seemed like whoever came with some idea could proceed even in the speed of these two days and uh, develop their idea further and find the right partners to do the, that with. But uh, the hosting and the, the, the way it was proposed. Myself, I've been used to more structures, so the way it was opened and that then it was the principle of invitation that was winning over, I don't know, analyzing or having enough time to, to, to even get to know what the projects were. For me, the, the principle of I have to invite somebody and these people then have the right to apply with their project, there, something went wrong there. Already in the room there was something, I felt like we were, it, it felt like a market a little bit to me. I've said it clearly to my colleagues, so I can say it like this, but uh, um, I didn't think there was enough structure in the way we ended up the meeting. The meeting itself had very nice moments of uh, sharing some things in a very nice, I remember Celine in this, a gallery space. Kai, I got to know Kai with the mapping projects. There were fantastic things around us and then I think just in the last point where we had to apply and vote and do things, I think it got really... It was me, Rok Weber, Dan Serhoi, and I think Lili Prager was with us. It was an invitation where I said, why don't I host a residency in my own house? We don't really need a physical studio, whatever, it was not about dancing, it was about brainstorming on the new idea. I did take them to Mama. We had some exchange with Tom Medek from uh, that company and from Mama, Multimedia Center in uh, Zagreb. And uh, we started this very nice first brainstorm of what was it that we were missing, what, what was it that we would love to do, but that doesn't just become about me and my project, but that it includes some other sides and that there is common interest around which we would gather, gather. And we really thought for a while, like how can we prolong this project, that it's not just residences of two weeks or whatever, but that it's somehow uh, cut out through one or two years. And then we had this trip to Macedonia where it was even a larger group with Dragan Alfirovic, Biljana, um, not sure, Mariana. Yeah, these details I don't uh, remember, but that was even a larger group still working really profoundly on the idea and developing it further. And then it was handed over to the Slovenian host to host this first meeting. And of course, there's this thing of trust in Nomad that anybody could propose it in the way it was and probably it had to be the way it was. Some good stuff really came out of it. I just think it was lacking now what in the continuation is missing is also the nomad as a, as a group. Not just the institute people and the working group, but the DMV, the decision making by the meeting, this crowd which can be uh, analyzing and giving feedback and being critical in a nice way. I find it that the way I'm critical as ways not to sabotage something, but to question what it is for and which way it's done and where the outcome uh, is going to be later on, years after. <laughs> it always gets confused about the three, three principles. It's, I always go on the number of three, but there's the balance and there's the invitation and there's the open space. And I think the open space has overwhelmed the Institute. But in Croatia, we really still, we, we, we had working sessions and we tried, Tamara, myself, and then Irina joined us very much and 
the way she understood Nomad as well, we try to apply them as much as we can because we've learned as a group that we are so different as, as individuals. So if you give power to somebody to invite or to, to host a meeting or whatever, it can really go in one direction and become an idea of one person. So we host many working sessions in which we again and again try to analyze the situations. We try to analyze what's missing in the region and there we try to conceive new programs which are made on the uh, lack on, on what the people are feeling that is missing in their own local scenes, in their own persons. We don't, we really took this, uh, not organizations, not local partners, but individuals are in Nomad Dance Academy in Croatia. And from there we create, we create uh, programs which are of need for someone else. We don't, uh, that come from our own desires, but that are created for someone else mostly people who are not involved in the dance at all, audiences that we haven't reached, kids, and then uh, we do uh, like advocacy in uh, Big Nomad, we try to address somehow uh, the administrative and the political part of the situation. So, very hard to get involved in any question which is posed to me as NDI, as Institute, because as I say, I don't feel involved. So my wishes for it is that I hope there's a group of people having a really good time, working together, developing ideas further, that will eventually... My, my wish is that myself, I, I have some touch with it eventually, or society, even more important than me. So I think they are growing. From the gossip I hear, I think they are growing in that direction. More than the NDI dream, for me, it's for to touch base with Nomad, but I must say, I fell out of love with Nomad in 2013 because somehow the mission was accomplished. It was like we dreamt of something, something was missing. We boosted an educational program, we got the money for it. It happened. It produced, it overproduced so many beautiful artists in the region that are being hosted by still the older mm -hmm. crowd. So somehow it it happened, like Nomad did its thing. If I would dream of anything, it's for the people to admit that it had its days, remember them with joy and, and not force anything anymore. But just, yes, another meeting to make a closure or a new way would be nice. Voila. I captured it. When I did, I made a movie about Nomad Dance Academy Croatia now that mm. I would love to show somewhere, anywhere. Blog? Yeah. <laughs> we have an installation that follows with it. You yeah. know, it's a, it's a thing where we would like to have people live. And then later on, we want to put it online for sure. Mm -hmm. In the moment, I discovered through that movie that NDA is the Nomad, is ungraspable, or you cannot explain it in a few words, and no principles will explain it. It's kind of spirit that moves people, that uh, uh, it's like a virus that, that, that gets people in some moment of their life and keeps them involved. And if you have it in, you, you keep on developing projects that are like the trace of the first years of the first meeting. Mm. So indeed, I think in Slovenia it's happening more, in uh, Croatia more, Bulgarians, like always, it was individuals, but they also tried to initiate the advocacy part or different projects. Macedonia, together with Biljana and Violeta helping out. And Serbia, indeed, yes, we don't have so much uh, touch with it. But that's what I think will happen eventually, even with Slovenia and Croatia, that we will start to function as, as uh, communities, local communities. There won't be much bridge. And for me, uh, Nomad was a bridging it wasn't a network. It was in the people who were meeting and uh, because the gossiping is not a gossip. It's not an ugly way to say I've heard the gossip, but it's a nice human way to hear about a project that is living and to feel like, ha, oh, great, something's going on. But that was the way that we encouraged by these live meetings. And a lot of money was going in these live meetings because people would say it doesn't work over the internet or on Skype or it's not the same energy that is happening. So. Uh, 
I think you guys have a live meeting, we have a live meeting, we created a larger community, you were quite a large community as well, and you have some other people joining. So it's happening where there is a group of people. For me, Nomad is about more than one. Even though we are thinking of, of changes, of shifts in Croatia, I must say, it's very hard to manage not funded uh, organizations with a lot of people and always satisfied the, the needs of different people.